And Governor of Zamfara State, Belo Matawale, has appealed to Nigerians traveling abro abroad to be careful in dealing with other passengers on board. The governor made the appeal when he received Ibrahim Abubakar, a native of the state who was arrested in Jeddah in 2017 after authorities discovered illegal drugs in his bag. After a series of court proceedings, the appellate court dismissed his case due to the failure of prosecution, prosecuting counsel to prove the case. Theophilus Darofai reports. Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is one of the countries with a zero tolerance for consumption and trafficking of hard drugs. <laughs> Ibrahim Abubakar, a native of Zanfar State, was arrested in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia in 2017. He was detained by the Saudi Arabian authorities for over three years for allegedly being in possession of a bag suspected to contain illicit drugs. After a series of court proceedings, the appellate court dismissed Ibrahim's case due to the failure of the prosecution to prove his guilt. He arrives at the Inamdi Aziku International Airport, Abuja, after his travels, where he is received by top government officials and family members who came down from Gusau to receive him. <laughs> Governor Bella Matawali wants Nigerians traveling on board to be wary of criminals. He commended the federal government for their efforts in securing the release of Ibrahim. Let me also use this medium to call on all the good people of our dear state and the country at large who travel to Saudi Arabia and other countries of the world to be extra vigilant on their packages and to be extra careful in dealing with strangers that might meet on transit in order to avoid any unpleasant experience of having contraband materials planted in their luggages. It is on record that most Nigerian accusers of drug peddling in Saudi Arabia in recent time were victims of such circumstances. Ibrahim applauds the federal and the forest state governments for their support during his trials. I want to thank President Muhammad Buhari, Governor Motowale, and all that stand by me during this trying moment. Family and friends of Ibrahim could not hide their feelings. I am very happy my husband is back. Today I'm very happy my brother is back from uh, Saudi Arabia. A delegation from Nigeria and Diaspora Commission and Zanfara State Government had earlier visited Saudi Arabia to secure the release of Ibrahim Abubakar. Three persons who plant the illicit drugs in Ibrahim's bag while on board were earlier arrested and have confessed to the crime. Ibrahim is also appointed senior special assistant to Zanfara State Governor and is being reunited with his family. Theophilus Darufay, TBC News, Gusau.